Isn't it a wonderful day? What are you so excited about? Oh, well, let's see. I've got a great family, a successful business, all is well in the world. Okay. Oh yeah, and I just filed our sales tax return electronically. You did what? Oh yeah, it's all been taken care of. I filed the returns with a mere click of a button. And I made the electronic payment too. It's all been taken care of. What's the matter? The return has already been filed. I sent it out last week. Oh no. Uh, I got it. Control Z. I'll just, I'll just cancel it online. No, you just can't undo it. We'll have to file an amended return to cancel the one you just sent. Well, why can't we cancel the one that you sent? We'll cancel the duplicate return and request a refund. Well, how do we do that? Who are you and what are you doing in our house? I'm an employee in the Department of Revenue's sales tax refund section, and I'm here to help you with your refund. First, you must complete the application. An application for sales use tax refund or credit must be submitted to the department. The application is Form 472S and can be found on the department's website at dor.mo.gov by simply entering the form number into the search box. In the application packet, we include a checklist to help ensure you submit all the necessary documentation with your refund request. The application will require the following information. Give the Missouri tax ID number. Indicate whether you are requesting a refund or a credit to be applied to your account. Provide the taxpayer or business name. If the name you want on the refund check is different from the taxpayer or business name, indicate that here. Include the mailing address where the refund check or any other correspondence should be sent. Supply a valid phone number where an owner, partner, or officer listed in our records can be reached. Be sure to indicate whether any correspondence regarding the refund request should be sent to a valid power of attorney or agent. Provide the amount of the refund requested. Include the periods for which an overpayment of taxes occurred and explain the reason for the overpayment. And don't forget to sign and date the application. Be sure to be as detailed as possible when explaining your overpayment. This information can be very useful when processing your request. Well, actually, someone sent in a duplicate return and payment. We actually have other reasons for overpayment. Can we take care of those here as well? What are the other issues? Well, in one case, we had a customer return merchandise that was purchased last quarter. We had already collected and remitted the tax. In another case, we collected tax from a customer that later provided a valid exemption. And so we refunded the tax. That sale took place last quarter as well. No problem. We can help you with that. In addition to the application, supporting documentation to explain the overpayment must be submitted. First, if someone other than an owner, partner, or officer is the contact person concerning the refund claim, you must submit a valid power of attorney, Form 2827. For each period for which a refund is being requested, you must file an amended return. You need to provide copies of all exemption certificates or letters for any exempt sales in your refund claim. Be sure to include the refund or credit calculation worksheet detailing how the refund or credit amount is calculated. An example of the worksheet can be found with the refund application packet available on the department's website. It's important to submit copies of invoices supporting the refund or credit claim. If the claim involves more than one tax period, invoices for the entire claim may not be required. The department will let you know which periods and how many invoices you should send. Usually a sampling of invoices is sufficient. I believe this will be adequate. Thank you, and thank you for your help. We'll file our claim right away. And we'll be sure not to file two returns for the same period again. <laughs> Remember, a taxpayer's claim for refund can be denied if it does not provide complete and accurate information to support the claim, if the claim is not valid, or if the claim is made later than the law allows. No refund or credit is allowed unless the claim is filed within three years from the date of overpayment. If the department has further questions after reviewing your claim, a letter will be sent to the address provided on the application. You will have 30 days to respond to the letter and provide the additional information. Make sure you provide a response within the allotted time. Otherwise, the refund request will be denied. If your original return was filed timely, the 2% timely allowance will be deducted from the amount of the refund request. If the original return was filed late, all appropriate interest and additions to tax paid on the return will be refunded if the request is approved. If you would like additional information, visit our website at dor.mo.gov.
www.gov or call 573-526-9938.